G'day everybody, I am Brett Salakas and today we're going to go all the way with Sway. So Sway is crazy easy to use, it's a Microsoft tool and it lets you turn things into a really sensible uh, web-based tools. So you can use this with students or teachers, there's a whole bunch of tips here that I'm going to go through today. Have a quick read if you want, nine tips in fact. I'm going to showcase to you in just a few minutes. The first tip is that with Sway, you can turn any old Word file into a fancy website. So uh, you can input your Word files, go to Sway, input it, uh, it automatically sets it up. We can mark things very, very easily. Uh, you get a sharing link because it's a cloud-based tool. Set up a table, students put their name on the left, they put their links to the right, then you've got a one-stop shop to be able to edit everything. We want to model creative uh, commons practice, good copyright practice. Just go to Flickr, which is part of the Sway program. It's linked to Sway, and then you get to um, use it. Tools that you can use, you've got this slider here with this comparison. I'll put some nice Australian images here. We slide over there, we've got Sydney on the left and Kakadu National Park on the right. That's a comparison card. Here we've got a stacker card with a whole stack of different Australian images. So now we've got our copyright free images, things that are Creative Commons. We can then share them very, very easily in different ways. Um, here we go. Gosh, I love my country. Isn't it beautiful? Uh, from the ocean to the desert and unique animals. We've got some kangaroos here. So another way that we're able to show um, images is in that uh, is in is in that uh, clipboard. We're embedding here um, a map. So if I get the iframe, I just go to somewhere like Google Maps. I get the iframe. I make a car to embed content. I can embed then the link to that map, that location that I want. Um, whenever we get uh, information reports for students, we often want them to include a map. So now I've got an interactive map uh, that uh, students can use in their presentations, or I can use if I want them to learn about something in particular. So here's my inception tip, in tip number six, inception pedagogy. We can put reports inside reports inside reports. Here I've got a PowerPoint inside a Sway inside this presentation. So I've actually, again, put my uh, embed code. I've uploaded my PowerPoint into my OneDrive. I've got uh, embed code out of my OneDrive and then put the card, added a Sway card, added the embed code, and then it automatically appears. Accessibility is one of the priorities here for Sway. Very, very easy to make your work more accessible. I'm trying my hardest to increase, increase my accessibility there. You can actually just click on it and then add um, accessibility features. It will tell you what you haven't got. Audio recordings are another simple, simple tool. You just click the card, add media, audio and record and in Port the recording straight to it and again here I've got a YouTube clip a how-to video once I get the iframe embed code I can just embed it but the very best tip here is tip number nine device versatility and that is that on any device on any platform whatever your school uses as long as you've got the internet Sway is your tool of choice it's a great versatile um, tool